back in my day. If you wanted to watch the TV shows and movies you liked, you'd have to wait for it to come on TV. And if you were to miss it, psh, you better hope you recorded it. Outside of recording it and watching it on air, the only other way to watch it was watching it on demand if it was free or buying it off of iTunes or something. I mean, Netflix was a thing, but they had nothing on there. They only had Sitting Duck Season 1 on there. Like, wh where's Season 2? Oh, they had Season 2? Never mind, they had everything. We just didn't know it. Then Netflix started getting more buzz, fast forward a bit, and now streaming is the future. I definitely fast forward more than a bit, but I don't care about the history. Streaming services. They used to be a very convenient solution to watching TV and movies, but now has become an annoying hassle for companies and us the customers. Streaming was made because we hated the slowness of cable TV and buying individual seasons of shows on iTunes. We wanted to watch our shows whenever and wherever we wanted with no interruptions. And Netflix had all of that for only $8 a month, while cable was $50 or something. This was insane. If you were to tell someone this 200 years ago, they'll think you're crazy. Maybe because they didn't have TV back then, I think they were still drawing in caves. But nowadays, that doesn't exist anymore. Since cable is dying and people only watch it for sports and news, everybody has a streaming service now. Like, every single individual channel. Why is this annoying? It's because everything is now split. Nothing is no longer on one single service, or even two single services. There's like 40 different services, and one of them might have what you're looking for. No guarantee. Like, I remember back when you wanted to watch Barney's Big World Adventure. It would have been just right there to watch. Nowadays, if you were to do it, it would be like, oh, that's only on Barney Plus, and you gotta have the premium version, uh, $30 a month. There's so many services for different things. It's gonna get to the point where someone like Amy Schumer is gonna have their own service with only her specials and movies on it. That's gonna be the first streaming service in history to have zero subscriptions. As you can tell, I hate that I have to pay for a million different apps just so I can get everything. It's mad annoying. I mean, I don't pay, I pirate, but like, let's just get to the point. I wish there was a world where everything was on one service, but I can live with and understand why that world doesn't exist. Unless it's endless, like why is it still only on Apple Music as a music video? This is a whole nother Frank Ocean album that most people haven't even heard yet, like I don't understand! What I can't understand is when streaming services constantly shoot themselves in the foot, i.e. Netflix. Now Netflix has a bunch of exclusives, but over the years the shows and movies have just been getting worse and worse, yet the prices keep going up. I mean some new ones are good, but I feel like there's more mid now than ever. And stop! Canceling good shows. I'll never forget you canceling the get down. Hell nah. That show was great Y'all Netflix executives must have your heads up your asses thinking mm, give the get down a second season Nah, nah What the people really want is seven more seasons of Big Mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's what the people want. Yeah No That's not what we want who wants a ninth season of Big Mouth? And they wonder why their subscriptions are getting lower. And their response to this was to also add commercials. Yep, they're dead. Also, let me let me talk about streaming services with ads on them. If your streaming service has ads on it while I'm already paying for it, I hate you, your mom doesn't love you, and your dad's a virgin. Why am I still looking at ads while I'm already paying monthly for it? And I'm looking at you, Hulu! Hulu is easily the worst streaming service that I have ever had to experience in my 50 years of life. Not only is there ads when paying monthly for it, but there's so many. The other day, I was trying to watch Atlanta's new season, one of my favorite shows ever, and I only could get through the first episode because Hulu Hit me with an ad every scene Plus, transition. I swear, music. every single camera angle change, it went to commercial. I was pissed. Why put me through this suffering? And uh, th this is the most annoying thing about Hulu. You see, Hulu has a big catalog of shows and movies. So when you search for anything, it's likely to be there. Then, oh, wait, what's this? They trolled you. You have to buy another Hulu channel to actually watch this. And the channels are separate. So you have to buy each channel to watch the certain movie slash show you want to watch. Who did this? Who? Why? Who's the president of Hulu? Joe Mama, I'ma beat your ass. 
the only good thing Hulu has ever done was not put ads for a regular show in Adventure Time, that's a W, and Remy, this show is great, it makes me want to convert to Islam. But other than that, what else does Hulu have to offer? The Kardashians, How I Met Your Father, Judge Steve Harvey, I ain't watching any of that. I just have a burning hatred for Hulu. It makes me look towards pirating, and I hate pirating, unless it's anime. I know some good sites, but I'm gatekeeping that, so don't ask me. But I hate pirating because there's a million ads. If you click anywhere on the screen, an ad is gonna pop up. You have to click on the play button three times for it to actually play. Pirating is mad annoying because of the ads. But with these streaming services like Netflix having commercials in it, it makes you wonder, why not pirate instead? You're still gonna be hit with a million ads anyway, so, but you get it for free. And there ain't no mid-row ads either. Unless you try to hit the pause button. Like, just get a jailbreak fire stick and you legit don't need to pay for a streaming service ever. The only streaming service I like and have is HBO Max. Like, they legit have almost everything on it. You just gotta look through A to Z to find it. But do I like the price? Not at all. $15 a month? That's basically an arm and a leg. Now, I don't mind spending $30 a week on DoorDash, but $15 a month on HBO Max? What are you trying to do, make me bankrupt? And also what I said before, how streaming is bad for companies too. I mean that compare to cable and buying seasons off of iTunes. Like it's obvious that buying a season of a show on DVD is way more profitable than streaming a season. Like I don't know how many times you have to stream a season of a show to equal a sale, but for music, 1500 streams equals one sale, so. I can't imagine it being that much more different. So with that being the case, companies need more money, therefore they make their own service and put ads on it that mess us over. So how can we get to a compromise to where the companies still make a big profit while there also not be a million services with ads riddled all over them for us to enjoy too? I don't know, I ain't no god, plus the video is about to end. I just wanted to complain cause I like complaining. Streaming services just get on my nerves sometimes. Especially with what Netflix is doing right now. And that's kind of all I wanted to say. I'm leaving now. Uh, in conclusion, FUCK HULU! We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making We're saving our own lives To make a brighter day Just you and me we Hey man, I'm so sorry to do this But there's 20 seconds left And I need this video to go past the 8 minute mark, man I, I got kids to feed, bro, man I'm behind my child support payments I'm behind in that shit I I'm behind on my rent Like, I can't pay for my bills, man I, I, I need this 8 minutes, bro I need it so bad Wait, wait Did it just get past the 8 minute mark? I did? Ah, uh, yeah, I lied about everything I just love money, yeah!